Hola, mi amor. It is me, Valentina. Just kidding. Can you imagine? Hello and welcome back to Nellyville, the bootleg version of the pit stop where we are recapping and shredding the dolls on this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Just kidding. We're being nice mostly. This week on this episode was the ball. What is Drag Race without the ball episode, darling? The crystal ball because this is the 15th season so the girls had to compete in three categories start your engines category my favorite ball and the crystallized eleganza and but before they got into the challenge we actually did get a mini challenge this week what was the mini challenge the photo bomb of course anitra ended up winning the mini challenge Anitra did a cute little cannonball into the bathtub that Willow Pill was in. Y'all remember that? So it was cute. It was fine. Do I agree with who won? I guess I agree with that win. A close second for me was Lux. So let's go ahead and get into these looks. Anitra, um, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. So the start your engines look from Anitra, um, I, I like where it was going, but I'm, I'm not really feeling this see-through. Um, is it a mesh? What would you even consider? It, it, it looks, it doesn't look expensive to me personally. I like the color scheme, but if it was a little more opaque, I think I would be into it. So for Anitra's favorite ball, she picked the sugar ball. I'm not into this look. On the episode, it looked better on the runway. It did, but, um, uh, this photograph makes it look even worse. I mean, not that it was all that in the episode. I'm sorry. Uh, cause the, once again, the concept was there. The execution didn't do it for me. It looks very... Like, if I saw this in the in a pride parade, I'd be like, okay, work girl, cute. But as far as like, I don't know. Uh, and then her crystallized eleganza look is really nice. And actually, this photo does not do it justice. And then on the back, the back of the dress was really what did it for me. She had like these crystals. It really, um, it, it, it gave it, it gave it something. Overall, Anitra's collection, I'm going to give it, I'll give it a seven. Lucy LaDuca, okay. Um, Lucy LaDuca ended up scoring really high with the judges and it just, I didn't, I, I thought that she should have been in the bottom. First of all, the start your engines look. This looks like a pattern that would be seen on a, a on a box of to Kotex U for twins. That's that's what that's given to me. I'm sorry, it's just I don't get it. Her favorite ball look was from the bag ball. What about this is giving bags? It's supposed to be doggy bags, and then she pulled out a little doggy bag that had little fake doggy doo-doo in it and i get that your name was lucy laduca but um that's a big no for me like th this is like what is this and then for the crystallized eleganza look i i got the direction of where she was trying to go she was trying to go the busted runner up of a challenge but it needed to be taken a step further she didn't take it all the way and so it just it, it it just missed the mark. Sorry, overall, it's giving a three. Lux Noir London. I thought that Lux, I could have seen Lux winning this. She was definitely a contender for, for winning, but I think she was just safe. So for the start, the engines look, I like, and I'm not crazy about the wig. I like the idea of the long boots, but I, 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 I would like to see a different shoe, but I did like that she came out with the big racer flag and stuff. So it's like, it's fine. Her favorite ball was the hair ball. I think I liked it. Like I liked it. I wasn't floored, but I do like it. And then for her crystallized eleganza look, I thought it was really elevated. I liked it. I thought that it was couture. I thought that it was fun. I thought it was very creative. And um, I, and if anything, she knows how to serve on a runway. Overall, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a nine. We have Malaysia, baby doll fox, okay? Um, her start the engines look, <sighs> it's fine. The, her favorite, she also picked the hair ball. The makeup is right. But the, 
I don't get it. I don't. And then the crystallized eleganza look, pretty, but it is. I don't. I don't know that I get the belt. It's missing something. Like it's almost there. It's almost there, but something's either wrong or something's missing, and I can't decide which one it is. Maybe both. I rate this a cute. 6.5 then we have marsha 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 for her start your engines look i like it i don't know if i like the what do they call it the peplum i don't know if i like that little frilly thing around her waist but i i get what she was doing there it needed to be something to kind of break up that pattern i do like the helmet i like the hair her favorite ball the bag ball i'm not mad at it i i, I quite like the look and then for the crystallized eleganza look no the tuck wasn't tucked enough for me if you're going to have if you're not going to do a tuck like trinity the tuck taylor if you're not going to have that kind of snatch you don't need to be putting jewels on the tuck like don't draw attention to the to the not right executed tuck and overall i'm going to rate 6.9. Then we have Mistress Isabel Brooks for the starter engines look. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the little patches on it. Now it does remind me of remember early in the season when Selena as Tiddies did the, she was supposed to be a light post or something. She had the street sign. So it does remind me of that because it has all of the sayings and stuff. I like that she has the sayings from past seasons of Drag Race. Um, the hair definitely goes. The body is proportionized. The favorite ball, the ball ball. I like it. I like that she paid homage to Arika, who came out and dressed like a um, a beach ball before. It's very club kid, which I like. The crystallized eleganza. I love this look. She made this in one day. This was what she made in the workroom. All three of these looks to me, I, I'm just sorry, it's a 10. And we have Selena Estetis. Um, oh, mm -hmm. she was very close. The, the blue for the starter engines, it should have been more snug I, or it should have been looser. It just looked like it was ill-fitting. It's like, which one do you want to be? Did you want to be a, a baggy situation, oversized, or did you want to be fitted? It can be this weird middle fit that you have. I'm not feeling it with that shoe, and the wig is not doing it for me. The, and then her favorite ball look, the money ball. I like the idea, but she should have went bigger up top. I like that she put her face on the money. Where is the shape? Then we have the crystallized look that she made. But she should have known, baby, that fabric is a really satin. is really hard to work with, especially for the silhouette that you were trying to create. And then you had this slick back hair, baby, with the proportions of what you were trying to do. No, ma'am. Sorry, Selena, but I'm going to have to give it, I'm going to have to give it a three. Miss Sasha Colby. The judges, of course, raved over her. I wasn't impressed like that. So the start your engines look, I, I didn't, something about that look cheap. I don't know, maybe it's the color. Maybe the hair, the hair could have been longer. Her favorite ball, the bag ball. So she's a dime bag, a bag of weed. I like the idea. The little headpiece was cute. I think it like lit up or something. That was kind of funny. But the outfit overall, I needed to, uh, where is the shape? Either the the part where the weed was supposed to be in needed to be bigger or her waist needed to be cinched in tighter. Her crystallized eleganza, I liked it and she was smart because everyone was going for silvers and, and, and diamonds and stuff like that and she went for the golds. I do like the hair. I like the silhouette. I do like this look and this picture actually doesn't really do it justice. It was actually really great on the runway. Overall, I'm going to, I mean, I'll give it... I'm gonna, I'll give it a 7.5. Then we have Miss Spice. I liked it a whole lot more than some people did. For the Start Your Engines, I think this might be my favorite Start Your Engines look. We have another ball ball reference. Okay, I liked it. She was fighting really hard not to trot, y'all. I thought the cutouts were in the right spots. It was cute. I love the hair, everything. And then the Chris Eleganza look, which is the look that she made. 
I feel like for somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of experience in making clothes, I think that she did a great job. I would have liked to have seen the skirt in a different color, but I like that she took, she did listen to the critiques and tried to give a different silhouette. But I don't think that this should have landed her in the bottom. I'm gonna have, to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Spice a nine, 8.5. So the maxi challenge winner, winner ended up being Sasha Colby, and I just don't agree with that. I would have given it to uh, Mistress, and the bottom two, you had Selena and Spice. The lip sync was fine on both ends. I don't think that Spice deserved to be in the bottom again. I definitely would put Lucy LaDuca there, but man, when Spice left, that was the funniest exit. One of the funniest exits I've seen since uh, Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Like, it was one of those when she kept trotting back and forth behind that stage like that. Like, when she was leaving, she did. That was so funny. But you know, with Sugar and Spice, they, they are those girls from this season we're gonna see a lot from them so we are gonna miss you spices it was a pleasure to have you and sugar on drag race i've already seen y'all popping off and being booked and busy in the stratosphere so uh to me y'all already won y'all won something i mean just making it on the show of course is a win for everyone and it's about what you want to do with it I, I can't wait to see the next episode of drag race and um yeah, thanks for hanging out. Follow me on all of my social media. Go ahead and subscribe, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Okay. Anyway,